Hi, I'm Joe Walensky, and I'm the program manager for Convey UX. It's an event that we've done for the past seven years in Seattle, and it will be doing it again in Seattle in 2020. But we have a new event coming up. It's in Boston. Convey UX Boston is going to have a special theme about the nexus of product and UX, and that's going to be August 15th and 16th. And so one of the fun things I get to do is talk to the speakers who will be part of that program. And the person I'm speaking to today is one of my colleagues at Blink, Jeff Harrison. Hello, Jeff. How are you? Great, Joe. How are you? Yeah, everything's good. Uh, I'm in Seattle headquarters. I think that's uh, where you are as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're in the, we're in the same office doing a video conference. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, just talk a little bit about things that you'll be involved in. Maybe a good place to start would be with uh, some thoughts about your background and the types of things that yeah, you're involved with at Blink. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm in the role of chief design officer here, which means that I'm overseeing all of our teams that are practicing design on, on projects. And um and there's a wide variety of those, which is really exciting for us. We work on you know, consumer experiences to you know, more role-based enterprise uh, experiences. And um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about the work that our, that our teams are doing and uh, um, you know, trying to understand you know, how we can better align teams to solve you know, problems that our customers have, which also are coming at us from different angles. You know, sometimes it's you know, creating new products, um, sometimes it's helping them evolve an existing product. Um, you know, other times it might be, you know, coming up with, with strategies and, and roadmaps about where to take an experience in, in the future. So, so I'm, I'm involved in, uh, you know, overseeing all of that and, and it's, and it's a pretty exciting time right now. Well, I know you're always running around with yeah. a lot of different projects, uh, uh, for the organization, but is there anything uh, new and exciting that you've been thinking about? Any uh, big thoughts about uh, moving forward with uh, design services? Yeah, so one of the things that's uh, that comes to mind when you say that is that we've been talking to, and it's a big hot topic in the industry right now, is around you know systematizing design into design systems, and and that's everything from sort of design delivery systems to you know creating designs that are scalable to other types of products or, or services within an organization. And, um, and it's exciting because I think, you know, design is becoming more strategic. Uh, it's maturing in a way people are understanding you know, how much impact it can have, but also how, you know, we need to be able to create things that, you know, many people can understand and, and, and use. And so there's a lot of different, you know, techniques for that. And what we're finding is that, you know, it's not just a one size fits all uh, solution. It has to fit with, you know, what, uh, what organizations are doing and, and needs to be consumable for them. So we've been working on a number of initiatives, you know, to figure out those, you know, different ways of helping and, and delivering. Well, uh, you're also going to be uh, doing a number of uh, activities at our Convey UX Boston event. And one of those mm -hmm. is a session that you're going to conduct with uh, another Blink colleague, uh, uh, yeah. Bill Flora. Uh, yeah. The topic is Elevate Your Product Design by Unifying UX and Brand Strategies. So tell us yeah. a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, it's, it, <clears throat> this is a real passion project for Bill and I because uh, Bill and I started working together about a year and a half ago and um, you know, came together. He, he had started a firm called Tectonic. Uh, that merged in with Blink, and we had similar but kind of different processes for, um, you know, solving design problems. And so we were excited from the beginning of, you know, there were certain parts of, you know, the way he was thinking about it and the way I was thinking about it that we thought were complementary and we could just easily put together, but then started to realize you can't just kind of shove these two things together. We actually have to figure out the intersection. And so this talk is really about uh, what we came up with there um, and, and really rides on the purpose of, of why we think it's important, which is to you know, help companies start thinking about 
elevating their experiences to really be reflective and expressive of their brand. One of the things we, we talk about is that experiences that companies create really are the brand nowadays. Uh, the way people experience a company is through their products often. Um, and as UX designers, we need to be able to create those experiences so that they're helping you know, elevate that brand, that they're expressive of that brand. But what we're finding with a lot of our customers is they don't, a lot of them don't, aren't really even aiming that high. They're not meeting that bar. They're creating things that are what we, what we deem as sort of the base level, which is effective, but they're not trying to communicate or connect with customers on an emotional or an expressive level. And so the talk is about how to do that, um, how to start pivoting, and it's really for you know UX designers, product teams um, to understand how you can do that inside of organizations that uh, might not immediately value that, um, but how you can sort of push push forward with that, gain alignment um, with the design process, and that we talk about in the talk. Well, it obviously uh, fits in great with our theme of uh, unifying product and UX and having the uh, practitioners in those areas be able to work together more efficiently and uh, we look forward to uh, the event coming up in August so uh, thanks for taking some time to chat with me today yeah it's been great thanks Joe we'll we'll see you soon